We were just talking, we thought we would share some ideas with you about how to make your Zoom sessions a bit more interactive to make sure that all the people that are in the room with you, the meeting, are actually engaging with you and you're not doing all the talking and they're not just sitting there passively listening. So here are a few tips that might help that. Uh, just a little disclaimer before we start, only use this for the adults. When you're working with uh, other teachers and adults, but don't use with, with this with the students because we want the students' controls to be a little bit more limited so that you can stay focused and not have them fooling around and doing things. So these are just for when you're having meetings with adults. All right, here we go. First one is try to use your chat room. Down here, this chat, when you click on the chat, make sure you're engaging with the audience and speaking to them. So when you do, ask them a question right off the bat and make everybody chat back at you. If they have a device like an iPhone or an iPad, they may have to touch it and then the uh, chat option will show up at the bottom and when it does, they can see the chat. But make sure everybody knows how to chat and ask them a question right off the bat and have them respond and everything will show up here on the right side as you type the chat, your message to them. So whenever you do that, as they're coming in, look at the chat feed off to the right and you can use their name and say, hey, I see that Sam said this. and engage with them, interact with them, use their name because that lets them know that you're actually looking at the chat and then they're more likely to continue to use it in that way. Another thing you can do in the chat if you have links to share, like links to documents that might be on the Google Drive or other places, copy the link and paste it in the chat. Once you copy it in there, boom, everybody can click on it and get there. And one thing they can also do is they can take that chat and they can copy it at the end of the session and then all the stuff you talked about is in one place for them. So I highly recommend you using the chat a bit more, ask questions throughout, make them respond, and make sure everyone is responding to keep them engaged. Another one is make sure that their video screens are turned on. We wanna see everyone. The only exception might be if they have poor internet service where they are and they don't have enough bandwidth to uh, sustain the video. They might not have to have it on, but if they do, make sure they're engaging with you in the chat, all right? Let's show you one other thing that we'd like to do. They're called breakout rooms, and in order to set them up, if you don't see the breakout rooms at the bottom or under this word more that you might have to click on, if there are no breakout rooms showing up anywhere in your screen, you have to turn them on, and this is what we're going to do to show you how to turn them on. So what we're gonna do is, when you're on this screen here, you can go to this little wheel up here to get to it or to go to zoom.us and log into your account there. Once you get into this account, what we're going to have you do is go to settings right here. See settings right here? And in the settings, there's a whole list of things that'll be in yours. And some of these are preset by the district, but you can modify them to some degree. So see where it says in meeting advanced? Click on that, it'll take you down here to the breakout room. Make sure the breakout room is turned on. If this is not turned on, you won't have that feature. And turn on the breakout room, and I also click allow host to assign participants to breakout rooms, so you have the way that you can do that then. So go into that section and make sure that's there, and then when you go back into your Zoom meeting, the breakout rooms will show up. Now that you set up your breakout rooms, let's go into your Zoom room and look. Now breakout rooms will show up at the bottom of your menu bar. Or if it's not there, click on the word more and look under there and it might show up in your more section. All right, so now that we have our breakout rooms, you're ready to give it a try. Click on breakout rooms and before you do, I would say, okay, for the next three minutes, we're gonna be with partners and we're all going to talk about, give them a topic to talk about, give them a task so when they come back, they have to report back. So here we go, you click on breakout rooms, you can make it so you, they automatically go into the rooms, and you, or you can assign people and move them around from room to room. When you're ready to begin the rooms, you click this down here, open all rooms, click on it, and right now, everybody is moving into rooms. Now they're all in their breakout rooms. You are still here in the main session by yourself. What you can do is, you can decide which room you wanna join. So like right here, I decide I'm gonna jump into breakout room one and hear what they have to say. You click on this, it asks you wanna join, sure. And you jump into the room, wait a few seconds, and then bam, we're in the room. Now, this other person is my cell phone on the other side of my door, that's what that is now. But people would be in here talking and you would jump in and you could hear what they're saying, you can listen or you could participate. When you wanna leave this room, click leave breakout room 
and you click there and you leave the room and it's going to say do you want to return to main session I'm going to say yes I'm going back and it takes a few seconds now you've left that room the other people are still in there talking okay and if you want to just continue to monitor the rooms you can just jump from room to room join as many as you want and then when you're ready to bring them back click close all rooms and look, all of them are closing in the next few seconds. They're all getting a warning telling them we're going to be coming back and it will automatically bring them back. And you can just sit here and wait for them to return. So here we go. Two, one, and now everyone's going to be back with us. So here we are. And then what I do is close this and you have everybody again with us now. We'd all be in the room here together talking and I might throw out another chat or have somebody share out with the group of what they just discussed. All right, so these are just some additional features that you want to try, give it a try, and to make your sessions a bit more collaborative. Adios.